Okay, so I just heard that ESPN decided that they were going to su- suspend Jamil Hill, one of their anchors um, on ESPN, because she actually wrote about Jerry Jones um, prohibiting players from taking a knee during the national anthem. The problem with what's going on right now, and this is why I have so much, you know, um, disrespect <laughs> for the mainstream media, is because this is the kind of stuff that keeps happening. Donald Trump goes and tells people that you are not allowed to do something. Then companies and corporations, they get afraid that he has some kind of power that they think he has. He doesn't have that power. I am tired of people thinking that this guy is more powerful than he is. Look at his Twitter feed. Somebody tweets something negative about Donald Trump. They're going to get like 300,000 likes. Look at Bob Corker. Donald Trump tweets something negative about the person. He's getting like 50,000 likes at best. The power is not with Donald Trump. The power is on the other side. The problem is that we have people in these institutions and these corporations that just they don't have their finger or their their themselves on the pulse of the people in this country they just don't understand the climate in this country and so what they believe is that if they don't capitulate to Donald Trump they're going to Donald Trump is going to do damage to their brand Donald Trump has done more for the NFL to increase their ratings and boost their support even people like me who weren't wa- weren't going to watch NFL because I was upset about Colin Kaepernick I'm now watching the NFL, watching these games. Even if I have it on in the background, I just have it on. Because I'm like, oh, you're not going to make me stop watching these games. As a matter of fact, I'm going to watch them more because you said not to. And the reason why this is important and the reason why I'm bringing up Jamel Hill is because we have got to fight back against this. We are slowly but surely morphing into a totalitarian society. I am serious when I say this. People probably think that this is probably hi- hyperbolic or that I'm you know, extremely hypersensitive. I am not being either. Believe me, I'm a very rational person, okay? And you don't have to believe me, but just pay attention to what's going on. Look at what Donald Trump is actually doing. What he's actually saying when he says, you are not allowed to protest, he's saying, I am going to tell you how you may exercise your First Amendment right to protest, And he's basically, even though these people work for corporations, these um, NFL teams are companies, even though they work for these corporations, their corporations are allowing them to take a knee, at least the ones that are taking a knee. Their corporations are allowing them to take a knee. So Donald Trump is basically trying to affect private businesses and try to force them to do what he wants them to. What's the difference between that and a dictatorship? This is a dictatorship at this point. You know, I mean, thank God for people like Bob Corker who are starting to speak out on the Republican side because he's basically holding all of us hostage. What happened to Jamel Hill is a disgrace. This is an absolute disgrace. The th- and the thing is, ESPN didn't suspend her because of what she said on her tweet where she was talking about Jerry Jones and him refusing. That's not really why they suspended her. They've been wanting to suspend her for calling Donald Trump a white supremacist. They wanted to suspend her for doing that. And as a matter of fact, they were, go- they were trying to. And then people started saying, nope, I'm not going on the show tonight if she's not on there. So they had no choice but to keep her. They're basically trying to silence anybody who does anything that criticizes anything affiliated with Donald Trump. And this Jerry Jones position is clearly about Donald Trump. It has nothing to do with a position Jerry Jones was taking before. Jerry Jones is taking this position because he does not want the ire of Donald Trump, which is cowardice at its finest. But all of us right now have to be concerned because... Like I said, we're morphing into a totalitarian society. It, he has to go. We, this is, it's enough. We've had enough. You know, he's so erratic. He's impulsive. Like I say all the time, he is so absolutely erratic. Somebody who's a president of the United States cannot be erratic. They have to be even-tempered. They cannot get caught up in these little spats with people, these insignificant spats. They cannot be trying to conduct foreign policy from Twitter and threatening adversaries. Um... With, with total destruction, this is the kind of stuff this guy is doing. It is so reckless. But it's having an effect now on all of us. That means all of us can be in trouble at our jobs, at our you know, places of employment, at our independent contractor work. We can all be in trouble because Donald Trump doesn't like something that we're saying or something that we're doing. And so he basically protests the company. The company gets scared because they don't want the, the anger of Trump's erratic, unhinged, you know, m- maniacal, just deluded, deranged base. He, they don't want that. So they just go and they capitulate. So the thing is, what makes this country so great and what makes it different and unique is not just the diversity in this country because this is like the most diverse place on the, in the world. 
But it's not just the, the, the institutions and the diversity. It is the Constitution, which sets the United States apart from everywhere else. Because in the Constitution, it provides all these fundamental freedoms that allow people to basically be free. What I've realized is that people had to continuously fight to make sure the Constitution is implemented. We're still going to have to fight that today. We're going to have to fight and make sure that those things in the Constitution are actually applicable in our lives. Freedom of speech is the first amendment. They wrote it first. Why do you think they put it first? They wanted people to be able to be free to say the things that they, that, that they don't like against a government that could possibly go rogue. That's what makes the United States so great. Otherwise, you can go to every other country and they have all the same institutions that we have. Maybe not sports or entertainment at the same level, but they have all the other institutions that we have. They have great schools, great roads, great infrastructure. There's so many countries like that. What makes the United States different and distinct and the most valued country in the world is because of that constitution. Okay, so the thing is, we need to preserve that constitution. If people like Jamil Hill are going to get fired for expressing their opinions, that means Trump's totalitarianism is taking full effect, which means he's basically getting away with the things that he's doing right now. And we have to stop him. And the way we stop him is we have to keep fighting for him to be impeached. We need to focus. Stop, fo stop focusing on all the antics and stuff like that. And we need to, a concerted effort to make sure he's impeached or he resigns. And the way we do is we have to continuously call Congress. And we don't need to call Democratic senators. They understand what time it is. We need to call Republican senators and let them know, if you let this continue, there will be a backlash in 2018 like you have never seen. We need to scare them into doing the right thing. We have to. The one thing they care about is their job. They don't really care about governing, but they care about their job. So if we can scare them into understanding that we really will put up candidates who will take over, we will put in people in positions that will take your job. We can get them to move forward on impeaching Donald Trump. Bob Corker made it clear the Republicans aren't willing to just continue to kiss his ass the way that they were before. So now we need to take advantage of this situation that just happened right now. If you don't want to live in a society where you have basically one person that tells you what you can do your entire life, if you don't want to live in that, that kind of society, then you need to stand up right now and you start calling your senators because this Jamil Hill situation is an outrage. ESPN are cowards. They're banned in my house until further notice. They, this is unacceptable. We cannot allow these corporations to capitulate to him because that makes the rest of us have to capitulate. And I'm not going to capitulate to Donald Trump. I want him to uphold the Constitution as he promised to do when he took his oath. But he was probably too stupid to understand what exactly that meant. But anyway, guys, let's fight. We're going to fight back. And we're going to fight back now. Talk to you later.